Oh, Matt Poole all smiles, but next up, our Dakin Air Conditioning Open Male Ski Race Final. And once again, Josh, uh, this M-shaped course is going to make it a little bit interesting, but plenty of local talent here as well. Yeah, we saw the Half Moon Bay boys come up to, to the Wollongong round. Russell Fox did well. And Russell Goulding, he's there. He's brother of Trent Goulding. He's involved in the series. Big Half Moon Bay contingent here. Tom Penny, he's another one of the local boys who's he's represented uh, Victoria before in the Wayland Shield. They travel over to the USA every year. And, and he's going to be close here, but it's hard to go past some of the big guys. Pete Scott, former two-time Olympian, world championships medalist, He's going to be one to watch out here. Oh, he's drinking from the fountain of youth, Pete Scott. He's still got it. <laughs> Unbelievable. He's right up there with Gordo Jones. But obviously, uh, great to see that mixture of youth and experience. But again, these starts and uh, straight up well. Big Kev looks like he's a carrying his ski in. Yeah, Kev Morrison from uh, the Northcliffe Cup there. He coaches, he's in the middle, and he's just slung it under the arm and gone out. He's got no time for dragging this thing and seems to have made all the difference. He's out in front on that green ski in the centre of screen. And, and that picking up, that might be the key. Yeah, big fields, and you can just tell that it made just a difference. Picking up that ski, and away he goes. He's currently in first spot, really tight for second as the boys go through there. Maybe even angle seeing there as they keep going. Ben Carberry back a little bit for Rilla. He's got a lot of work to do from back there. But like we said, this isn't your normal ski race. They've got to go that M shape again. Out, in, out, in. And so if you if you do make a mistake and you're good enough, you can catch up. Yeah, it's gonna it's gonna play into a few of the Iron Man's hands here as we see Kev Morrison in the middle of the screen leading out. On the far left, that's Mark Stowe. And we're riding on here with Kev. He's got big, strong arms. Look at him putting that blade in the water, pulling it through. A lot, a lot of drive through his feet. We can see his toes moving there. That's drive through the He's legs. Got huge toes. We spoke last round about Matt Bevelacqua's legs. Now we're talking about Kev Morrison's toes. Oh, he's one of the fastest men too, so maybe that's the key. As, as we see Mark Stowe, he's, he trains with Pete Scott. He trains with Isaac Costello. Some of the guys we've seen win races in the summer of surf. He's got the inside run around the can here on that black, yellow and blue ski as former Australian junior kayaker. So we see the kayakers come into this ski race and, and normally they that run down the beach would hurt them, but they're doing pretty well at the moment. Oh, this is going to get ugly. Here we go. It's a 180 turn here. And have a look at this. You're on the inside. You're in some serious trouble. Oh, the boys because, aren't giving oh, it. Oh, look at this. Straight in. A couple of Half Moon Bay boys. Benny Carberry is going to sneak around on the inside, but they don't care. They're not giving each other any room. But Kev's got around all right, and he's out in front at the moment with Mark Stowe. So just run us through this 180 turn. We don't normally see it at surf carnivals, but you want to be on the outside. You stay out of trouble. You're safe. But you have to, uh, you have to paddle further. You take the risk on the inside. Maximum risk, maximum reward. You could come a cropper, you could cop a ski right in the face, right in the arm, or a paddle in the head as well. But if you get around clean, it's a shorter distance and you can really catch up a lot of ground. That's it. You get towards, you head towards the can, you really put the power down, then jam your right foot as hard as you can to go around that thing. All the power's on the outside. And the more power you put on the outside, you'll bring it around. So they take little strokes on the inside, big ones on the outside, as we see Kevy putting in the massive ones coming in as the boys start to find some runners. But there's a real art to turning those cans. And these boys are great at it. They don't they don't make mistakes, that's for sure. So here we go, a little wave out the back. This is just down to complete the first section of two here in this uh, Dakin Air Conditioning Ski Final. And a little runner now, so these lads are going to be on it out the back. Look at them just angling across. You can see they're aiming towards that white flag there. That looks like Tom Penny there and Mark Stowe who are out in front. They'll find their own one. Then there's a cast of thousands. It looks like that's Mackenzie Heinard there with a yellow tip on his ski. He's just cutting someone else off there. Nothing nothing uh, bad by that, but he's mi completely missed the turning flag. So that's not going to pay off. But Mark Stowe, the Newcastle boy, he's leading us out in front. Benny Carberry's come from nowhere. He was so far down. He's made a really, really good, good thing. As we see Russ Goulding around the outside sporting the mohawk. He's hard to miss. And there's Pete Scott there. He just picks it up and throws it around. He's got no dramas, the big man. Oh, he's got some massive arms. But this is where we go. It almost comes down to a walk here because the technicalities of trying to pull your ski around that pole, so difficult. And uh, you really just got to get on and get going. And right now, well, it's been a pretty epic transition here. Is it Carberry that just unloaded on that transition? Yeah, I think kevy has gone a little bit too hard off the start. He seems to be blowing there. He's really blowing some smoke as he has a look around. But Benny Carberry, he's one of only, only two or three Ironmen in this field. So he's going to come into his own now. He's used to going 45 minutes. He's used to going those longer races. He's not one time round like these ski paddles. He's got the endurance. And isn't he showing them at this point? He's gone from about 14th 
place off the beach to ride out in front by four ski lengths. Yeah, these formats certainly favour these guys from the multi-discipline events that are used to doing this. Ben Carberry, the current New South Wales State Ironman champ, has just taken it up another notch. And I, you hate to say it, but I think that the guys have really gone out too hard too soon. A lot of that pack, and you can tell they're really hurting right now in this second half of this race. Oh, they're struggling. And, and Benny looks, he's another one. He's come out of the, the same training program as Ali Day of your Hayden White, your Kirsty Higginson's, and he's going to have the endurance. You've seen those guys and the way they train, the way they race. He's not going to let these guys paddle back up onto him. It'll just come down to a wave here, whether they can get a runner, a wave, and he's around that can, as we spoke about before. He's around that can on his own. No dramas, no push and shove as the other boys. They're going to slow each other down as, as we see Kev heading in there. There's, he's got skis. Oh, oh he's got one under the arm and a one in the back yes, as well. All oh, over that the place hurts. there. And he's, that just makes it so much harder. Copping those slows you down. It's not the what you want at that point. Oh, let alone just the physicality of copping a massive ski straight in the shoulder. And oh, look at the build up at the back. Oh, they're so all the, over each other. He's on happy days. He's, he's closest to screen. He's on a run of the boys. It looks like three or four of them are going to battle it out for the miners. But look at well, this they carnage. They still can't the can. get around that. Oh, he's Someone's stuck, stuck on, the on the can there. So he's stuck on that little oh, marker can. Oh, and he's can. causing havoc. So they are, while they're all battling out the back, Benny Carberry said thank you very much. And he's stolen this one from the rest of the boys. So Benny Carberry in the absolute best position possible down this little wave. He's going to do it easy and a cruisy victory, but really tight battle here. Mark Stove, Redhead, and Tom Penny, the local lad from Anglesey, are going to have to duel it out for the miners on that second wave, but up and running and uh, obviously no doubt about the winner. He's even got a bit of time to drag his ski out of trouble as well. Ben Carberry drops it and he just back-ended it. A brilliant back-end by uh, the lad from Marilla Barrack Point. But look at the battle on for second. Oh, it's really close. Mark Stowe there. Tom Penny right there. Mark Stowe just gets it. Tom Penny, what big Kev Morrison. Had a great start and gee, a great sprint finish as well. But it looks like it is going to be the victory to Ben Carberry and a very well-deserved one. Oh, what a finish there to this Dakin air conditioning open men's ski race here at Torquay. But the current New South Wales Ironman champion, Ben Carberry, maybe a sign of things to come, takes his first victory here at the Summer of Surf for Marilla Barrack Point. And what a sprint finish for the next placings. Mark Stowe of Redhead just ahead of Tom Penny, the local lad from Anglesey. And big Kev Morrison there right in the mix in fourth spot. And have a look at the representation here of Half Moon Bay. The lad's really turning it on. Here with Benny Carberry, who just won the open ski. Tricky race out there. Yeah, it's really windy and there's a lot of runners to catch. Had a bit of a bad start, but sort of worked my way through the field and, yeah, come away with the win. Talk us to that runner at the back there. Yeah, well, I knew straight away I'd come around the can if I was to work my runners on the way and hopefully pick up something, and I was lucky enough to get something from the can, so I was good. And come through with an epic win. Congratulations. Thanks, Katie. So at the halfway point here of our Dakin Air Conditioning Men's Surf Ski Series, the overall point score, Cam Cole, the former Australian Ironman champ from Bar, just in front on 125 points, but really on his heels, Lockie Tame, the four-time and current Australian Surf Ski Champion of Avoca Beach. Then we go back to Corey Taylor and Nicholas Gale of the BMD Northcliffe Club. Our winner today, Ben Carberry of Willow Barrack Point in 10th spot at the moment and still plenty of time there for Dean Little and Russell Fox, the local lad from Half Moon Bay to get